for power outages all week. And right now, more than 36,000 people across the Commonwealth are without electricity. Now, the number is dropping, but it started actually going back up in just the past hour. And many of those without power are in the Miramac Valley, where more than 10,000 homes remain in the dark. WBZ's Mike Sullivan is in North Andover. And Mike, how do things look there? Well, this is Johnson Street, and it's very dark. As you mentioned, residents here without power, and that is because there's a power pole that's down behind me, close to where those lights are, and those crews expect to work on that through the night. They also tell us some of the people around here might not have power into tomorrow. A not-so-silent night in the Merrimack Valley. Wind and rain ripping through the region, leaving an estimated 17,000 people without power. One of the hardest hit towns is Andover. We have uh, approximately a third of the town without power at this point. National Grid estimates power may not be fully restored in Andover until 11 p.m. on Christmas Eve. They acknowledge that some homes may be dark into next week. Just one power pole can take up to seven hours to replace. And there's a, a pole that's leaning. Uh, a tree that was dead came over, knocked over the pole, knocked over the wire. The heavy winds grounded power crews, leaving National Grid without the ability to use their bucket trucks. We have over 2,000 employees actually across the state restoring power. So we have really good uh, sized workforce out there restoring power. You have crews from out of state? Too. We absolutely have crews from out of state. We have crews from as far away as Texas and Florida. Temperatures are expected to drop dramatically in the coming hours, leaving some residents scrambling for warmth. Andover Fire is keeping an eye on area nursing homes. And uh, none of them at this point are on backup generators, so that's good. They are all still on the grid. Neighbors we spoke with are getting their generators out, bracing for the worst. Well, National Grid tells us that they're working in some of the highway areas and then moving their way to some of those high-impact areas from those blackouts. We've also been told Excuse me. We've also been told that uh, they've they've also been told they've restored power to nearly 40,000 people throughout the state. Live in North Andover, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. All right, thank you, Mike. Right now, we are taking a live look.